Hi everyone and welcome back to Ask Angie D. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cheese plate for the big game. All right, all right, all right, let's go ahead and start. So for this cheese plate, I wanted to do less than $25 in all the materials that I used. So I realized that the hummus, the salsa, and the pita chips had to go because those are not really considered cheese plate items. I got it down to $21.77 and I got started. So as you can see, I got all of my cheese under $3 which made it possible for this whole cheese plate to be under 25. So it's very easy to construct this cheese plate. All you have to do is cut uh, however much you wanna use for the day. For example, uh, this is the day before the big game. So I'm just gonna use about a third of each cheese. I also like to use little cups like portion sizes I was trying to measure which one would be better and then here are the crackers that I used these were really good I cannot believe these were only a dollar 49 I also used a second kind of bread which was the flatbread crackers you always want to make sure that you have at least two different kinds of uh, bread to bread or crackers to go ahead and uh, dip into the cheese or eat with the cheese the almonds I already had so I just used whatever I had and the grapes were probably the most expensive thing that I bought they ended up being $4.99 here I am using the smaller portion cups to put my olives And also this very delicious mango pineapple jam that I got in Hawaii. And it was only $2.98 in Hawaii, so it was very economical. I bet you can find any other jam at a lower price. I printed out these little tags uh, with labels and I was done. It was that easy and it was so good. Me and Ryan ate this as a snack before dinner and it was so good and all of your family will love it if you take it to the big game party.